Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Our topic today is, Will the Dollar Fall on about or around or shortly after December the 13th of 2022? Now, I know it seems impossible. I mean, the dollar has been the currency since World War II. Some would say before that, but the, the information I'm about to show you it's substantial that, and, and, it's, and it's not just the financial experts saying it. Matter of fact, the first thing I talk about is not in financial, but for a lot of good reasons, I think that there's, there's a very good possibility we're about to see big changes by the end of the year. One of them is very possibly the fall of the dollar. So let's get on with it. Okay, first of all, this email was sent to me, as you can see, 10-31-2022, from one of the good brothers out there, been emailing me for a number of years. He emailed me, and he is an insider, and he says this is not classified information, and he's even going to prove that in just a second. But from time to time, he sends me some stuff that is not classified. He keeps saying, it's okay to say it, it's not classified. But before, <laughs> before I put it out this time, I said, look at I said, I need to see this from a secular news source so that I know that it's not classified. I don't want to get in trouble. He says, U.S. is sending multiple upgraded B-21 satellite-guided nuclear bombs to the U.K. before December. He says the U.S. has changed, this is the important part, has changed its nuclear policy. I've not heard about this. The U.S. has eliminated its no first strike policy, just like the Russians have, meaning the U.S. now can initiate a first-strike nuclear attack. Okay, I said, yeah. okay, before I can put that out, you got to give me some proof. So here's what he sent back. As you can see, I said, wow, I can't say this. How can I say this? Can you give me a link to another source, a news source? I need verification of the second source saying we have really changed our first-strike policy. He says, I'm not familiar with the source at the moment, but I will get it out eventually. It's not classified. You can use me as a DOD insider like you have previously. He says the nukes we're sending can be calibrated to either carry a 0.3 kiloton, that's a very small nuke, a tactical nuke, or 300 kilotons, that's a city killer. So this is the link he sent me. You have a Daily Mail, U.S. brings forward plan to update its nukes in Europe. Gravity bombs due to arrive next year will now be delivered in December. They've speeded up the delivery as Russia raises nuclear war fears. Okay, so it's like we've done something, Russia does something. We do something that gets us closer to war, Russia does something that gets us. So we're taking those steps heading toward nuclear war. It says USB-61 nuclear bombs due to be replaced by more accurate versions in the spring now are getting delivered. But delivery to Europe will actually take place in December. They've speeded it up. Com comes amid threats by Vladimir Putin to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine war. Russia yesterday held its own annual nuclear drills involving long-range rockets. So... The Russians are firing a shot across our bow, and we're ignoring it. Instead, we're firing a shot across their bow. The Russians are putting their toe into the sand, and they're drawing a line, and the Americans are stepping over that line saying, we're ignoring your line. And then the Americans draw a line in the sand with their toe and say, you better not do this, and the Russians are doing it. I'm telling you that when... Gabriel spoke to Dmitry Dudeman and said the fall of America will start with an internal revolution in America started by the communists. Some of the people will start fighting against the government. The government will be busy with internal problems. Then from the oceans, Russia, Cuba, Nicaragua, Central America, Mexico, and two of the countries will attack and defeat America in one day and one hour. So great riches will come to naught. I'm telling you, it is getting close. We are marching in that direction. Let's keep going. The article goes on to say, new American nuclear bombs, do, and you may be saying, wait a minute, does this have to do with death of the dollar? Yes, it does. New American nuclear bombs due to arrive in Europe next year 
is actually going to arrive this year, speeded it up. An updated version of America's main nuclear bomb will be delivered to European allies this December instead of spring 2023. Why? Because obviously they're putting a shot across Russia's bow. They're saying we will attack first. The new bomb, which is supposed to be more accurate than its predecessor, will be distributed to storage sites. Now, as I've said, I can't prove what I'm about to say, but I'll believe it to be accurate. I believe that the scalar wave that can go right through solid rock, right through the earth, right through the oceans, right through streams, right through metal, it can see through me. I think that the Russians, and I think that's how they discovered so much oil, which they're now selling to the world, because they can see where the oil is. I think they can see where the nuclear bombs are stored, be it in a plane, be it under the ground, be it in an iron or lead pipe, whatever it is, they can see it. They know where they are. And just like the angel said, the Russians have discovered where the most powerful nuclear missiles are stored. And then it says it'll start with the fall of America. Now let's go on. World Net Daily, Biden planning to protect us from cash beginning December the 13th. QOC called President Biden's signed executive order the most treasonous act in U.S. history. The creation of central bank digital currencies, I'm going to say that again, CBDC, CBDC, CBDC. <laughs> you better get used to that because it's about to happen. It's about to be in our purses and our billfolds. CBDC, central bank digital currencies, as communism is its, its in its purest form, encouraging Americans to stay awake. It's a step towards the end of cash, the greenback, and circulation since the founding fathers. The new digital tokens can be, quote, turned off if the government doesn't like what you're doing. C-Day, which according to him will take place on December 13, 2022, will disrupt the traditional financial systems in the U.S. He says, when it calls it C-Day happens because paper money will be worthless and the U.S. dollar will crash. He further added that consumer spending across the basic needs would also be restricted. People holding too much money would be penalized or could be penalized. Every digital dollar will be a programmable token like Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. Biden bucks, as he calls them, will have the full backing of the U.S. Federal Reserve. They will replace the cash or fiat dollar. We have now and will soon be the sole mandatory currency of the United States. He says that they will begin an era of total government control and surveillance, especially acting as a new type of spyware. The government will be able to force you to comply with this agenda because if you don't, they can turn off your money. This won't be like freezing a bank account. It will be much easier. You want to keep your internal combustion car, your digital dollars, suddenly won't pay for gasoline. You'll be forced to buy an electric vehicle. America will become a surveillance state like China or North Korea, he says. Is this scare talk? No, it's just executive order number 14067, which Biden signed March 9, 2022. So here's another article on the same thing. Executive Order 14067 update will be CBDCs, get used to that, CBDCs, replace currency, paper currency in the U.S. on December 13th, 2022. That's two different reputable news articles saying the same thing. It calls for the creation of the CBDC, which in the case of the United States will be administrated by the Federal Reserve, and it will take place on December 13th. U.S. paper dollars will become completely worthless. You'll be able to use Biden bucks from that day forward, according to Micah Rickards. So, if you have any money, I suggest you write that down. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com If you have any money in the bank, if you have any money in paper dollars, any place, in your mattress, in the attic, wherever you might have them, in a bank, savings account, in a CD, in a 401k, if like uh, Lindsey Williams was told by the elite, if it's in paper, it's as worth as much as the paper it's written on. In other words, it'll be worthless. So I would recommend you go to cornerstoneassetmetals.com. I would recommend you call them 
okay, maybe you can't invest right now. Call them and get an account open. Start talking to them. They can help you get your money out of a four. Well, they can help your money get your get your money out of worthless paper. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com. All right, back to the program here. This is actually from the Federal Register. <laughs> you want to know what it says? This is actually part of that executive order. Within 180 days of this order, blah, 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 submit to the president a report of the future of the money payment systems, including conditions that drive broad adoption of digital assets, and it will change payment systems. That's part of the Federal Reserve note, or the, 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 the executive order. Further confirmation. Fox News, Japan pushes for digital personal identification cards despite pushback. What? What does this have, have to do with America? Look it. This is going to be a global digital system. And so this is not just Japan. This is all of the 198 nations, whatever the number is out there. They're pushing all of them to go into a digital currency. Japan has stepped up to push to, to catch up on digit, digitization by telling a reluctant public that they have to sign up for these digital ideas or lose their public health insurance. So the system that kicked off in 2016 in Japan never fully caught on. They still use fax machine, a lot of paper. They, instead of emailing some kind of a document, they demand the document to be actually walked in the front door. And in Japan, they're not buying this new my number system or the digital system they're trying to set up. So they're pushing these other nations in order to get them into the digital market. Okay, so I believe I got two different people that have signed papers saying that they have had a dream that this is the mark or the number of his name. This is the mark of the beast. Yellow flames with a with this thing on their their hand between the thumb and the first finger. So this is the number of the beast, this is the mark of the beast, and it might look something like this. Do not take anything that resembles anything like that. Now let's go on. Headline, Russians hack U.S. Delta command and control system complete Ukraine battle planes exposed. How does this have to do with the dollar falling? It has to do with the dollar falling. It has to do with America falling. It has to do with lots of problems. It's showing I believe that the God's hand of protection is being removed from America, and he's handing us over to our enemies. It goes on to say, the United States Delta Command Control System is a computer network that the U.S. uses for battle operations. It is constantly updated by military planners and intelligence sources with troop deployment information, weapon stock information, and complete attack plans, and Russia has hacked it. Okay, so... You know, like they had these big maps where they had these wands where they would move the ships around on the map so that they could kind of get a picture. That's what we're talking about, except for it's done electronically. And the Russians are now able to see our, in, our most intimate military secrets. It goes on to say, Delta system is also constantly updated with about uh, opposing forces, in this case, Russia. It says they gain full and complete access to this. This his touring of the Delta system, and they actually he posted videotape proving that he had access to it and showing a lot of the things that should not be shown. Now, why is that important? I love this movie. This is one of my favorite movies. It came out in 1994. It's called The Hunt for Red October. And it's about a Soviet Union and how they created a new nuclear submarine that runs silent. They call it the black hole because it makes no sound due to a revolutionary propulsion system. And in the movie, it was turned over to the Americans by a defecting Russian submarine captain. Well, I, I know it's just a movie, but several of the sources have told me that actually it happened. In other words, back in 1984, America was enough of a Christian nation to where when the Soviets came up with a vastly superior technological submarine, God arranged to turn it over to the Americans. But today we're seeing that God is turning our secrets over to the Russians. That's my point. Let's go on with the article. 
Russian military forces not only know the exact precise locations of all Ukrainian forces, but they know all the rest of the secrets. They know our most intimate military secrets. They've got them. The single most serious breach of U.S. computer information in decades, Russia already knows where they are and what their plans are, and the Russians got it all. And they have now said that they are willing to do a first strike. America has said they're willing to use nuclear uh, weapons first. So I would say the world is in serious, serious trouble. Now, as if that weren't enough, Weather Alerts comes out with Planet Killer, asteroid spotted hiding in the sun's glare. You recall Vicky Goforth Parnell? had a dream where the angel came to her and showed her that there is, as I recall, one, but this article says they've found three, three meteors, actually they're asteroids until they enter into our atmosphere, three asteroids that are hidden in the sun's glare. She was shown that they were hidden behind the sun. Same thing. Okay, so this article here, in my opinion, confirms what Vicky Goforth Parnell was shown in her dream, that there is an asteroid out there, and it's a planet-killing asteroid, and it's heading towards the Earth. Or they say it could be heading towards the Earth. Essentially, that's what they're saying. Now, I think I made my point. I'll let you read that if you want to. Let's go on. Breaking. CIA Insider reports collapse of international monetary system now imminent. But Stan, are you talking about Russia? Are you talking about a city or a nation killing asteroid? I'm saying that we're in the last days. I'm saying that America has so many sins on her. We are, I mean, like the angel came down and says, Babylon the great has fallen, has fallen, has become the habitation of devils, the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. I'm saying if you have not made preparations to survive a, a lot of trouble, shame on you. If you don't have your gold and silver in the right place, if you don't have food from josephskitchen.com, if you don't have an EMP shield, if you, if you have not made some preparations to at least be able to function, what are you thinking? Let's go on. CIA Insider reports the collapse of the international monetary system now imminent. Okay, now some people might say, yeah, well, I don't want to hear all about those dreams and visions. I don't accept the dreams and visions. Okay, will you accept a CIA insider? A lot of people might say, yeah, but I won't accept a CIA insider. I want to know that someone really knows about finances. Well, I already talked about that. So at this point, I'd have to say, what does it take to convince someone that the dollar is about to fall? The article goes on to say, Mr. Rickards, a well-known New York Times bestselling author, from his TV experience, uh, appearances, experience actually spans 35 years of Wall Street. Goes on to say he's been an advisor to the government. He's considered the world's foremost expert on global banking, world currencies. And he says he's predicting a collapse of the international monetary system that will ultimately lead to the death of the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. Well, duh. USAA News says World Economic, this is a different guy, okay? This is uh, Rickards. This is another economist, another expert. Say the Federal Reserve is about to wimp out on the dollar. He goes on to say the dollar is about to crash. The dollar is about to crash. Rabini predicted the housing bubble would pop in an IMF position paper in 2006. When asked if we were again there, he said absolutely yes. He pointed out that the amount of the debt in the global financial system, the debt to the GDP, has now gone from 200 to 350 percent globally. In the U.S., the debt of the GDP, uh, GDP is higher than after the Great Depression and World War II. In other words, you want to listen to dreams and visions, or you don't want to. They're saying the same thing. You want to listen to experts, or you don't want to. They're saying the same thing. I mean. Several different people, several different ways are all saying the dollar is in serious, serious trouble. And one source, no, <laughs> executive orders, if you believe them, December 13th is the day to watch for, on about or shortly after. We're going to have inflation and stagflation, but we'll have a stagflationary debt crisis. Another article, U.S. dollar will collapse when this event happens. Guess what the event is? You see, Shane Warren was shown a vision back in 2010. And he was shown that when the Saudis start selling oil 
in another currency other than the dollar, the dollar is going to crash. Boom. That's what this says. If we want to better understand the answer of the elusive question, when will the fiat U.S. dollar collapse, we have to watch the petrodollar system. In other words, we watch what currency the Saudis sell their oil in. That's what the petrodollar is saying. And the factors affecting it. This is critically important because once the dollar loses its coveted status, in other words, the status that says, if you want to buy oil from the Saudis, you got to buy it in the currency called dollar. Once that destroys, once that changes, the dollar's gone. The destruction of the dollar is going to wipe out the wealth of a lot of people. That's the reason I suggest you go to cornerstoneassetmetals.com. And will cause the political and social consequences that will likely be worse than financial consequences. Three points the article says. You must absolutely positively be internationalized before the U.S. dollar loses its status. Now, what does that mean, internationalized? Are you going to still leave your, your good hard-earned money in paper? No. Lindsey Williams said it's as good as the paper it's written on, which is worthless. Gold and silver are God's money. Second, it's going to be tied to the petrodollar system. When you see the petrodollar system die, so does the dollar, petrosolid dollar system. Well, the Saudi signed an agreement August 24th of 2021 that said that they are no longer having the United States be their military protector. Now Russia is. The sustainability of the petrodollar system is linked to Middle East politics. And as of October 24, 2021, it's no longer guaranteed to be the dollar. So they could come out with the yuan, so says several prophecies. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com is where I would recommend you go. Final thing. April 2021, Charles Turner, I've read it several times, had a vision, I believe it's of God, saw cash dropping into an abyss. There was no end to it. Cash was disappearing, just like Dana Coverstone was shown. I saw dollars begin to start fading on each side to the point where I couldn't see the numbers on the bills, but the numbers continued to fade away. I was made to know that the dollar is going away and a cashless system of digital numbers is coming to be our new medium of exchange. Same thing Chris Reed said, too. I was made to know the dollar's going away. A cashless system of digital numbers are coming. I heard the Lord say the word digital. I said, oh my God, the cash is fading away. Digital is coming in as the new domain. There you go. A new cashless a CBDC <laughs> is coming in. You remember this is just one page of a long dream from Vicki Goforth Parnell. And she said, the lady beside her replied, the Antichrist saved us. He is so charming and intelligent, too. Now I see a man in black formal attire with a white shirt speaking to another group of men. Someone says of the Antichrist, he's a brilliant strategist, not only on the battlefield, but in finances, too. The transition to the, are you listening, digital currency system for our world went smoothly under his direction. If you want to listen to the prophets, they're saying dollars about to die. If you want to listen to the financial experts, they're saying dollars about to die. And I'm saying cornerstoneassetmetals.com is the people you want to call. Prophecies say it goes from 100%, down 30%, down 66%, 50%, and finally it's worthless. Shane Warren saw it worthless as leaves blowing in the wind. And it comes from selling oil and another currency, which probably is about to happen. As of October 24th, 2021, it started. And there, then as of October 24th, 2022, the Chinese are now discussing this with the Saudis about possibly uh, bringing the yuan to be the reserve currency. And of course, Coverstone was shown a dream. No coins. Everything goes digital. So it's time, my brothers and sisters, to get prepared. You need to go to cornerstoneassetmetals.com. EMPShield.com, use promo code PROPHECY. Go to josephskitchen.com and get yourself some food. Get prepared for the things that are coming. Let's talk about Joseph Kitchen. I actually cooked this loaf of bread you're seeing here. 
takes me about 10 minutes to put the ingredients together, put it into a bread machine, push a button, two hours, 20 minutes later, I get a loaf of bread out like that. Now, if you cut that loaf of bread that weighs about three pounds, the loaves you get in the store have most of the good stuff removed. The loaves you get in the store are about a pound. That's three pounds because it's got the good stuff still in it. Cut that into 14 slices. And if I eat a slice in the morning and the afternoon, I'm satisfied. So on that basis, one loaf can sustain, I didn't say it's everything we want, can sustain a person, one person for a week. Based upon that, it'll get you excellent nutrition. It tastes good, long storage life, 10 minutes to combine the ingredients, two hours, 20 minutes to make it. Other wheat that you order arrives in paper bags, which means bugs, rice, humidity can get a hold of it and ruin it. But at Joseph Kitchen, they send it out in 100 mil thick buckets. Gives you long shelf life. It's stackable. This nitrogen infuses that hopefully gives it a lot much longer shelf life, kills bugs and things like that. Easily resealable. Keep in a climate controlled area. And they have it in stock. This is a picture, an actual picture of part of the warehouse. Here's another picture of the, these. Actually, each one of those boxes holds 2,500 pounds of wheat and I think they've got 54 of those boxes a bunch of them so Joseph's Kitchen can ship it to you right now you go to most of these places they say out of stock so here's what you want to do everybody needs to get a machine package these are the things that you need to grind the wheat berries put them into a grinder 30 seconds later you have flour you put that into the bread machine along with six other ingredients push about two hours 20 minutes later you have a nice hot loaf of whole wheat bread then you have to decide how much food you want. You want food two people one year, four people one year, six people one year. And if you want to make certain you have it when the electricity goes down, you can also get yourself a solar generator all at josephskitchen.com. josephskitchen.com. Cornerstoneassetmetals.com is where I'll send you if you're thinking about getting gold or silver. I think everybody should have at least a fist foot of, full of gold and a fist full of silver because there could be a time when you pull up to get gasoline and they might not want to take your loaf of bread, but you pull out a gold coin or a silver coin and you're probably able to get anything you want, even if the credit cards are down, even if the dollars are worthless. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com CornerstoneAssetMetals.com Next is, I'll send you to empshield.com. If you use the promo word prophecy, you get a $50 discount. What is that? Well, it looks like this. This is the one that goes into a car, okay? And you put the red wire to the red side of the battery. You put the black wire to the black side of the battery. And the green one attaches to the body of the car. Then you peel it off right back here. Just peel that off. Stick it inside of the, the, the engine compartment of your car because if every computer chip is destroyed in your car these days, you couldn't possibly replace them.